she didn't even know I was stood there. <laughs> Good morning, folks. Welcome along. I think it's Thursday today, but it might be Wednesday. Why do I always do this to myself? Anyway, uh, I've been on the uh, marketplace on old uh, Facebook again and actually found a bloke selling the insulation that I need for this. I think he's got uh, like a dozen or so sheets of the 50 mil stuff and some 75 mil sheets. I think all the insulation I'm gonna need for around 300 quid, which is about half the cost of it new. So I'm gonna go across in the van and have a look at that. And uh, while I was there, I also found a pipe bender for 20 quid, so I think I might pick that up as well because I've wanted to do some old pipe bending, you know. We could have kind of could have, could have kinda, could have kinda done away with this elbow if I had a pipe bender, and we could have had a nice curve there, all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna shoot when Stu gets here and check out these uh, these items. Second stop, we picked up the pipe bender, it's got the followers, and uh, we also picked up all of the insulation. The boards weren't quite eight foot long, they were seven foot six, so he gave us an extra three boards. So good on him, he was a right character as well. It'd be nice to catch him on, uh, on video. He probably wouldn't have understood a word he said, because I didn't. Bit of a bargain, I reckon. So 15, 16, 17, 18 sheets of the 50 mil. So that's twice the thickness I was gonna punt for originally. And uh, one, two, three, four, five sheets of the 75, which will make us some nice, well insulated doors. All this lot for a sweet 260 
great British pounds. That's not bad. And then also, uh, we ran across to Blythe, uh, more of a uh, residential call, this one was from somebody's house, and picked up, well, the good old pipe bender. Check it out. And the good thing about this is, it comes with the followers. Just think of the things I could have done with this. 12, 15 and 22 millimeter pipe bending capacity and that along with my mini pipe bender which is in here somewhere we can go right down to six mil pipe I think and four mil pipes what they use for brake pipes I don't think I'll be bending much of that anytime soon so I'm going to start to chip away at this already and uh, get most of the insulation cut and inserted into position and uh, we'll see what these cauldrons look like once they're uh, insulated. I'm not going to screw anything down though because I still want to put rock wool in between the uh, the insulation and of course uh, the timber. So I've spent a little bit of time uh, chopping up this extra therm and getting it on the wall. This is as far as we've got, one compartment, all the roof, the sides, uh, but I think that's going to be it today because unfortunately, you know what that means, time for beer. <laughs> oh yes. So uh, we're just going to, well we've just put the last piece on, Craig helped me put one up on the roof and uh, put a couple of screws on. I cut one piece for the side to make sure that it fits nicely and it does. So I think that we're going to have enough of this to finish the job. But if not, I know where the guy is and he's got more if I need to buy any more. But I just didn't want to over purchase. But another productive day and we're getting a bit closer. Uh, tomorrow we might be able to talk about what we're going to do for cooling the inside of it. Um, it's going to be basically run off of a... Uh, what do they call them now? The cellar coolers. It's going to be run by a cellar cooler. So I'll take you into the pub tomorrow and we'll have a look exactly at what they are and how I'm going to modify one to hook it up to this bad boy. But other than that, folks, going for a well deserved pint and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>